What's up guys, welcome back to yet another exciting Luma Fusion video. I'm Rob HK and in this video we're gonna make the Luma Fade transition. You guys have requested this video for quite some time now. I think it's been like a year and I still haven't made it so I guess it's time to make this super easy and awesome transition effect. And you can use the Luma Fade transition in any way. You do not have to use it as we're gonna do in this tutorial. You don't have to use it on the person, you can use it on anything you can use it on if it's an object subject whatever you want to use it on you can use this type of effect and what's good about the luma fade effect we're gonna make today no keyframes there's no keyframes needed to make this awesome luma fade transition effect i know some of you commented on the preview video of this effect that i was using keyframes to adjust the fade in and fade out and all that but that's not the case for this luma fade transition effect there's no keyframes at all. A lot of you commented that you wanted to see a tutorial on the speed ramping and if that speed ramping I did in the preview video was made in Premiere Pro or in LumaFusion. But that speed ramping was 100% LumaFusion and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that in a different video so stay tuned for that. But enough of that, let's jump over to the iPad and create this awesome Luma Fade transition. Roll that intro. <laughs> So here we have the clips that we're gonna use to make this transition effect. We have a couple of drone shots and we also have the footage of my wife, which I needed to film to create this effect. So once we get everything loaded into LumaFusion, the next thing we wanna do is to make a cut to our clip. And we want to make a cut to the clip which is filming towards and out from the subject or object. And you want to make a cut at the exact spot when the frame is turning black. And once we made a cut to the clip, we're gonna take the first part of the clip and move over to track number two. It doesn't really matter where you put it on track number two, but in this tutorial, we're gonna take the clip and move over to the beginning of the project. And once you place the clip at the beginning of the project or wherever you wanna place it, the next thing I like to do is to find the point where I want the Luma Fade to start and then make a cut to both clips. And I'm gonna show you exactly why I like to do that later in this video. So once we made a cut to both clips, we're gonna take the clip on track number two and we're gonna go into edit. And then we're gonna go over to chroma keys. And since we're gonna use the chroma key on something that's black, I want to use the ocean. And the reason for choosing the ocean key over a black color is simply because it's easier to use the ocean key when you're gonna manipulate the luma fade on something that's black. So once we apply the ocean key, we want to play around with the settings. And you want to play with the settings so you remove most of the chroma keying which you can see around the subject on the top left and right corner here. But as you start playing around with the settings, you might stumble upon some problems. As you can see in this video file, you have the background being quite dark, which is the same as the jacket on the subject. But I have an easy way to fix this, and that is by tapping on the color on the right side here, and then you simply lower the brightness. Lowering the brightness will help you achieve the look that you want, even though both the foreground and the background might have equal colors. Using this method will definitely help you out getting that super clean and perfect chroma key transition. And for those of you that don't want to play around with the settings or don't have time to play around with the settings, I do have a preset. This preset is the same effect that you see on the screen right now. I will put a download link to this effect in the description below for you to download for free. And what's good about the chroma key transition that we make in this video is that we don't have to use any keyframes. By making those two cuts at the beginning of the video, it now allows us to place across the solve on the second part of the first clip, which is on track number one. This creates that fade in effect, which you see here. And this also allows us to do this simple thing rather than going into the chroma key and then play around with the keyframes. 
but we also need to zoom out again to reveal the subject. So we're going to move over to the last part of the clip that we made a cut to at the beginning of this video. And what we're going to start with is to go over to the first clip, which has the chroma key applied. And we're simply going to tap on this button right here and then copy the effect. Then we go to the end of the project and we find the last clip that we want to use this effect on and then tap on this button once more and choose paste. Now we pasted the effect that we made from the first clip over to the last clip. So now you have the same effect on the first and the last clip, which makes it a really easy effect to make as you apply the first chroma key effect that you made over to the last clip as well. But I do recommend that you color grade the footage which you use chroma key on after you apply the chroma key because if you apply the chroma key after you color graded your footage you might have some problems finding the perfect settings for your chroma key so always use chroma key first then apply your LUTs or your color grading So if you want the preset that I made for this chroma key effect using the color black while using this chroma key on something that's black, it's in the description below. Free to download, go get it now if you, this is something that you will use in your future videos. And I hope this will help you out a lot as well. But you can always play around with the settings as long as you follow the steps that I showed you in this video by going into the settings of the color and not only using the bars of the chroma key. That will really make a difference when you are using chroma key for transitions, effects or whatever you want to use chroma key with. So I think it's time to wrap up this video as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to support and help out my channel so I can make more Luma Fusion videos. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that notification bell to get notified when I upload. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace.